typically speaking in this program, whenever you go on vacation, for the most part, dude, I do not want you to really worry much about like your nutrition, your steps, because I want you to ask yourself this question. Like, what is the purpose of vacation? Is it there to be on our grinds, be working really hard, all this stuff? Or are we there to enjoy ourselves, relax, have a good time and really just like be present and create some amazing memories? I don't know about you, but whenever I go on vacation, I actually want to enjoy my time there. Sure, I may go to the hotel gym if there's a hotel gym, naturally speaking, because I'll be like just like sightseeing or doing things, I will naturally just kind of hit my step count goal. If not a lot more than that, I'll usually get like 20,000 steps whenever I go on vacation every single day. That's just because I like to walk around and stuff. But especially when it comes to my diet, like I'm not going to like bring my food skill with me. I'm not going to be opening up the MyFitnessPal app to make sure this fits within my diet. I'm still mindful like in every meal that I eat. For example, I went to Mexico a couple of weeks ago and it was like an all you can eat buffet for like lunch dinner and for breakfast and it's like i just made sure that in every meal that i ate i just had a, a lot of protein good quality source of protein i had a lot of fruits and vegetables and um, i kind of like kept my carbs and fats a bit lower right just because i was so full from just eating all that protein and vegetables so i was still mindful of my food intake i was still drinking lots of water also getting my steps in and that's because i just it's just a habit for me now right but it's not like i was like punishing myself for doing that and so when you're on vacation especially now that it's only like three or four days just enjoy yourself, dude. Have some fun. Create some good memories. Be present with your friends, with your family. Take some cool pictures. Do some sightseeing, whatever um, you're going to be doing on vacation. Just be present and enjoy because you can always get them back on track again when you go back at home and you're back to your regular routine and back on your grind. When you're on vacation, you're there to literally relax and recharge your battery. So don't worry about meal prepping or um, keeping track of your staff. Just have fun, dude. Um, but during this time, like, really try your best to get that sleep in, dude. Like, get that at least eight hours of sleep in. Try to keep your stress levels nice and low. Reduce those stress levels. And um, I've typically found that whenever you do go on vacation, this is a great time to really catch up on sleep. Make sure that we kind of, like, reset that and um, reduce our stress levels. Because when we lack sleep, two critical appetite hormones actually go into opposite bad directions. So ghrelin, which signals to your body that you're constantly hungry actually goes up and leptin which signals to your body that you're nice and satisfied actually goes down so you'll notice that you're going to be a lot more hungrier and you're also going to be craving a lot more honestly junkier sweet foods when you're sleep deprived and on top of that your stress levels also naturally go up and when your stress is really high your cortisol which is a stress hormone in your body also goes up um, which also makes you hold on to more water weight and it's also a really catabolic hormone which means that you're literally in muscle breakdown mode and None of that is um, what you want, and it's not really good when it comes to like losing body fats and building muscle that you're looking for. So try your best to increase your sleep and reduce your stress levels, especially now that you're on vacation. And um, when that kind of improves, improves your nose, your energy levels will be a lot higher as well. So yeah, that'll be that. Um, and then, um, okay, you mentioned here I want to do four workouts instead of three workouts. That's awesome, dude. But until you can show to me that you can actually do your three workouts, I will not be making any changes, dude. Like, again, like <laughs> you've given me and yourself no evidence to suggest that you can do the three workouts a week. So at least from my perspective, Cyrus, it's like, okay, what do I have to look at to suggest that you can actually do four workouts a week? I have no evidence here, right? And so make sure like before we get too ahead of ourselves, make sure that we actually do what is required of us. Make sure that we do all of our workouts that are assigned to us. Make sure that we keep track of all the foods that we have to eat, right? Make sure that we get our steps in every single day of the week, right? And until, if and when, until you do that, I will not be making any changes, right? So let's focus on doing the things that are required of us first. And once that is dialed in, I can start making some changes by making whatever changes we have to make. But especially if we're not making progress right now, it's like, okay, well, the reason we're not making progress is probably because we're not doing what is assigned to us. So let's focus on the basics first. And once the boring work, once that is dialed in, then we can make whatever changes we have to make. But um, we'll kind of discuss that, I guess, when you come back from vacation. But um, I guess you'll be back on the 8th. So don't worry about these two workouts. When you come back on the 8th, on the 9th, Thursday, get your steps in, keep track of your food. And then Friday, do your workouts. Um, get your steps in and then also keep track of your food, right? So yeah, that's all that I have for you for this week, dude. If you do have any questions for me, please let me know. Enjoy your vacation, man, and I'll speak to you soon. Peace. Now, if you want to be around a community of like-minded people just like yourself who will educate you, motivate you, and inspire you to absolutely demolish your health and fitness goals, come join the Barbarian Squad down below. I guarantee you, you will not regret it one single bit, and I'll see you inside.